what's going on guys so in this video i'm going to show you how to set up the google play beta on your pc this will allow you to play select android games from the play store on your pc using a keyboard and mouse or xbox controller also you will have full sync between your pc and mobile so your progress in a game will always be saved no matter what you're playing on all right guys let's go ahead and head on over to play.google.com the link to this page will be in the description below now our download button is right here but first let's go and take a look at the system requirements so this is giving us the minimum requirements your operating system should be windows 10 or higher you need at least 10 gigabytes of available storage on an ssd for your graphics uhd graphics 630 gpu or comparable so basically if your pc has a graphics card you're pretty much set your cpu must have at least four cores and it says that some games require intel so sorry amd users at least 8 gigabytes of ram a windows admin account and hardware virtualization must be turned on now let's go ahead and download beta the file has now downloaded and i have it here on my desktop let's open it up now go ahead and select the location you would like to install google play games now i'm fine with this being on my c drive but it seems this is the only place that you can install it if we try to click here where it says browse nothing happens okay let's go down here to install now you guys can't see my screen because my user account control came up do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device yes now we need to sign in with our google account go ahead and click right here sign in with google select the gmail account you want to use if you don't have a gmail account go ahead and create one and then sign in okay back over on google play games you should see confirm your profile if everything looks good then click on looks good go ahead and accept the terms and conditions and finish and now we are in the app now let's go ahead and install a few games and we can do angry birds 2 click on install and since i am seeing this message then that means my hardware virtualization is not turned on so i'm going to show you guys how to turn this on and i will be doing this on windows 10 so let's go down to start settings update and security then over here to the left click on recovery and under advanced startup you're going to want to hit restart now now during this restart i am going to lose connection with obs so i will have to hold a phone to my monitor to record it when you see this please wait screen press f2 then go down to troubleshoot advanced options then go over to uefi firmware settings and hit restart now depending on the make and model of your pc this next screen will look different for everyone my computer is an hp computer i'm gonna press the f10 key for my bio setup now let's go over to security and then i'm gonna go down to system security and in here i will find virtualization technology and I'm just going to press the enter key and it will change to enable. Now I'm going to press F10 to accept and escape to cancel. Then I'm going to head back over to file and go down to save changes and exit. Are you sure you want to save changes and exit? Yes. Okay, we are now back on Google Play Games. Now let's try to install Angry Birds 2. Now it's saying that we need to have Windows Hypervisor platform installed so we'll go ahead and click continue my user account control came up i'm going to click yes to allow changes after about a minute you'll see this pop up you'll need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect go ahead and click yes and once again we are back on google play games hopefully this time for the last time now let's install angry birds 2. And as you see, this time it's downloading. And it's good to go. 
let's scroll down we can go ahead and download this game as well free fire install let's download clash of clans and we'll download one more game asphalt 9 install okay back on the home screen to see your games that you have downloaded you want to click right here now it may show multiple games in here but the games you have installed will have a play icon next to them so i have one two three four games installed let's go ahead and load up angry birds 2. And here I am in the game and as you see I am using my mouse for controls if I grab the bird and pull it back everything works now let's load up asphalt 9 Now I am playing Asphalt 9 and I am using an Xbox Series controller and I did not have to set it up, it automatically works by default. Now let's jump into some Clash of Clans. And this used to be one of my favorite mobile games by the way. And here I am playing Clash of Clans using my mouse and keyboard. And the last game I'm gonna try out is Free Fire. I am now in game and I'm using my mouse and keyboard. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and if you would like to try this out for yourself a link to Google Play Games is in the description below. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.